In order to find the estimated default probability of a corporate bond, we need to compare it to a risk-free bond. So in this example, we can use a corporate bond with a life of five years, a coupon percent of 6%, and a principal value of 1,000. So that means the future value at the end of the the end of the life of the bond, it'll pay $1,000 of principal and a yield to maturity of 7%. So based on all this, we're going to have to calculate the present value, which we can just use the uh, inbuilt Excel um, present value formula. So we'll include this yield to maturity rate, the number of periods of five, the payment of 6% um, multiplied by the notional value, and then we'll include the um, the future value. And that gives us $959. We should uh, make this in negative to offset that effect. So one thing we're going to want to look at is the yield curve. And we'll do that to find the yield to maturity of the risk-free bond. So we can say that we can just build this out. So here I have the year. So we'll build out the year yield curve. So the end of year one, we'll say it's a 2% uh, spot rate. Then year two is 4%. Uh, 5% in year 3, 5.5% in year 4, and then uh, let's just say 6% in year 5. And then we're going to need to f um, multiply out the cash flow. So we're going to want to find the value of the risk fee bond based on this yield curve that we've just plotted. So we can say that the cash flow is equal to the coupon percentage and multiply it by the principal value. And then uh, we're going to have to lock these in, actually. So I'm just hitting F4 to lock them in. And then we'll have to multiply out the formula here. And the last one, we have to multiply or add a 1,000 to it. Because at the end of year five, we're going to receive the notional plus that payment. So this is our cash flow schedule for each of these, these years represented here. In order to find the present value, it's just a simple uh, formula, which is the cash flow for that year divided by one plus the spot rate for that year to the exponent of how many years it is in the future. The further out, the more the more times we have to discount that cash flow back. So then to find a present value of the entire risk-free bond, we would just sum up the, all of the present values. So this gives us a present value of $1,006. So we'll know that our yield to maturity is higher than our coupon rate. So we can use the inbuilt Excel formula rate on uh, the number of period is uh, five years. The payment is going to be equal to 60. The present value is equal to that amount we just calculated and the future value is equal to this. Oh, we, we have to make the present value negative by the way. So don't forget to do that. So now we've got our yield to maturity of the risk-free bond. The, this is the rate that the market demands in a risk-free setting of 5.84%. 5, 5 now we've got our corporate bond and our risk-free bond, and we're ready to calculate our probability of default. But first, we need to assign a recovery rate to the corporate bond. So this is in the event that the corporation that issues its bond defaults on its payment. Let's say that this value is 60%. So if this bond, if this corporation defaults on the bond, the value that you'll be able to recover will be 60% of the original price before it defaulted. That's what that means. We also need to find the credit spread. So the credit spread is just the yield to maturity um, difference between the corporate bond and the risk-free bond. So this gives us a measure of its risk. So we'll calculate probability of default equal to the credit spread divided by one minus this recovery rate. So that gives us a probability of default of 2.89%. This is the probability that this bond will default if we were going to buy it today. But now let's take a look at loss given default. So loss given default is equal to the exposure at risk, which is just the price of the bond. That's how much we're exposed to when we own this bond, multiplied by one minus the recovery rate. So we'll calculate that. one minus the recovery rate. So this gives us the dollar value. So if this bond goes into default, this is how much money we should lose. And now we can find the percentage of loss given default, which will be equal to just one minus, one minus the recovery rate, which should be 40%. 
So we'll lose 40% of our investment should this, should this uh, bond default. But now let's find the total expected loss. So we can use all of these calculations that we used above to find this value. So the expected loss is equal to the exposure at default or the exposure at risk multiplied by the probability of default multiplied by the loss given default. So let's calculate that. So uh, the exposure at default or the exposure at risk would be the price or present value. The probability of default we calculated here. And then the loss given default we calculated here. So if you were to buy this bond today, you're taking on an expected loss of $11.10. Now, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please g drop a like or subscribe. And if you want to play around with the Excel spreadsheet that I created in this video, look down in the description. You can find a download link down there. Thank you.